Victorian era business owners looking to catch the eye of prospective customers would often turn their buildings into what's now called a mesker. As News Center 17's Warren Brenniger shows you in tonight's town team report from Taylorville, the term originates from a pair of companies that specialized in ornamental sheet metal. You've probably seen them a thousand times. You may even have a few in your own community. They're called meskers, and they're buildings with prefabricated building facades. So far today, we found over 200 uh, of these buildings in 110 communities across the state. So what makes these facades so important? Officials with the Illinois Historic Preservation Agency want to catalog as many meskers as possible due to their historical connections with life at the turn of the 20th century. They represent this idea of, of industrial revolution and, and the possibilities of that era. The Mesker Brothers Iron Works in St. Louis and George L. Mesker and Company in Evansville, Indiana, were the two largest producers of ornamental sheet metal. A prefabricated facade usually cost five times less than using traditional materials like stone or terracotta. They really allowed the building owners to, to improve the look of their building at relatively little cost. Not only were the Mesker building facades affordable for small-time business owners, they're also very durable. The key is galvanized sheet metal, and also keeping the building facades painted helps to prevent rusting. Your eye is drawn to these wonderful uh, fronts. The Mesker facades arrived with how-to instructions and were usually attached in a matter of days. With your town team report in Taylorville, Warren Brenniger, News Center 17.